All right, so finding the number of terms in an arithmetic sequence. So this is a classic one where we've got a formula, we need to rearrange it in some way. Uh, so for the arithmetic sequence, 27, 23, 19, 15, dot, 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 negative 33, find. Now that dot, dot, dot doesn't mean there's one more term there. It means there's a bunch more terms there. And we need to know how many terms are here in total. So let's look at our formulas we've got. We've got uh, the nth term is equal to uh, a plus n minus 1 times the common difference. Now, what do we want to know? We want to know the number of terms in the arithmetic sequence. So in other words, we want to know uh, what, what n is. Now, as long as we know what everything else is, we should, be, we should be fine. So the nth term is the last term, and the last term is, is this guy here, negative 33. The first term is pretty obvious, 27 plus uh, n minus 1, we don't know. But we do know the common difference, it's negative 4. All right, so rewriting this just a little bit. Um, it's going to be more useful if the negative 4 is out the front so we don't get confused. 27 plus uh, negative 4n plus 4, that equals negative 33. Uh, and then we have 27 uh, plus 4, which is 31, minus 4n equals negative 33. And I can rearrange this. 4n equals 31 plus 33, which is 64. So 4n equals 64. 64 divided by 4 is going to give us n, which means that n is 16. That means that there are 16 terms in this sequence. All right, so our second part here just says, now find the sum of the terms. So now that I know that there's 16 terms here, I can find the sum of the terms pretty easily. And usually I would use, um, say, this formula here. But given I know the first number and the last number, I can get away with using a much simpler formula, just, just this formula here. So let's use that formula. Where are we? Here. n over 2, uh, a plus l. So something strange might happen here. Let's take a look. 16 over 2, because there's 16 terms. So I should write S16. Uh, the first term is 27. The next term is negative, no, the last term is negative 33, which means I've got 8 times negative 6. Uh, sum 16, that's going to give me negative uh, 48. Okay, that's an interesting result that you probably want to think about a little bit. Think about the numbers that are going to be here. Uh, 27, 23, 19, 15, 11, 7, 3, and then there's going to be a bunch of negative numbers as well. So a lot of the positive numbers and the negative numbers, when we add them all together, they're going to sort of cancel out. So we're going to end up, usually our sums tend to be pretty large numbers, but when half of the numbers are positive and half of the numbers are negative, we're only going to end up with a fairly small either positive or negative value. So just something to think about when you're adding up uh, arithmetic uh, series.